Hey YouTube, it's Chris. On this video, I unbox and review the Harmony Smart Remote Control. Alright, so let's get into this. Here we have the Logitech Harmony Smart Remote Control. You've got this one, which you'll use both the included, um, uh, I think it's radio frequency remote control, and also your iPhone or I believe um, Android device. So Logitech has um, given you the ability to have what is effectively a very much a high-end remote control where like several years ago you may remember I think it's a Harmony 900 with its uh, touch screen remote control ability. Uh, it was you know a very expensive remote control and this thing gives you the ability to customize it including uh, using channel icons for your favorite TV stations and uh, macros within activities, which I'll get to later. Now, can I just say criticism to Logitech if you're listening or watching this review? Can you please in, um, document how long the infrared mini blaster is? Um, I was pretty certain it wasn't going to be adequate for my needs, but um, until you actually got it out of the box and measured it, you weren't to know if it's going to actually work for you. So here we have the um, the base unit. That's the um, um, the device that will network uh, with your Wi-Fi router. You don't need to plug it directly into your Wi-Fi router. You'll actually negotiate that um, after a little bit of um, uh, you know trial and error. There we've got a really basic instruction manual basically says uh, plug in the mini USB and good luck to you not very good uh, instruction manual whatsoever so there's the RF remote control so this thing doesn't doesn't actually have an infrared blaster in it. So you can actually use this um, in a uh, another room, which is what I'm going to be doing for my um, Sony TV. Uh, it obviously being an RF, it can control devices where you might put the Harmony um, base station or your um, infrared blaster um, behind cabinets. So you don't need direct line of sight to actually use this remote control. Um, got to say that the packaging and the protection for everything was really nice. Uh, feels really good in your hand. Uh, criticism of it though, you don't have a backlit remote control. Uh, it's pulling the um, uh, little tab out there to um, get the little flat battery going. So there's a, a mini USB uh, plug-in device. You can um, run your little uh, Harmony puck from a USB um, uh, source, or they include an adapter, which I guess is basically a 5 uh, volt adapter, which plugs in, again, just using a mini USB port. Alright, and this is the little mini infrared blaster, which as I said before, I didn't know the length of it, and actually to, even right now I don't know the length of it but if you're going to like me put that in a different room or at least some distance from where the um, base station is uh, it would have been nice for Logitech to detail it even on the website as to the length of that mini infrared uh, blaster cable so on the back here you can see there's a uh, mini infrared blaster 1 and 2 you can buy an extra um, blaster from Logitech now for $10 uh, there's me plugging in the mini USB directly to the unit otherwise you just use the adapter back to the remote control as you can see here it's got a 10 digit keypad down the bottom up right left down control channel up and channel down volume underneath this little black um, case is where the flat battery goes feels very nice in your hand it's got a good texture to it so it's easy to grip uh, it's taken me a little time to get used to the navigation for um, play, pause, forward and back at the top, which, I don't know, doesn't sit well with me, but it's maybe just because I'm so used to different 
remote controls. As you can see at the top of the remote control, there is a music button, uh, what looks like a TV button and a movie button. Now there are actually three different ways of controlling uh, three activities, but also if you press and hold one of those buttons, it sets a secondary uh, activity going. So effectively from this remote control, you can have six activities set up. Here's a Harmony base station now powered up. It's flashing red because it's uh, waiting to be uh, networked. And that's where you jump to your uh, smartphone to configure it. It took me a few goes, I kid you not, but I eventually got it connected onto the uh, network and there it is, green light, good to go. So you can call your little Harmony Hub whatever you want to. People like uh, myself who have had a few Logitech remote controls, um, this really befuddled me. It's befuddled a word? Anyway. Um, it gave me the opportunity to basically copy across all my devices and activities um, from my other setup. Now, I tried this, but as you can see, it didn't let me. And this kind of comes to this um, bigger issue. But the first time you actually uh, set up your Harmony Hub, you have to do it through your uh, smart device. Now, this is all fine and dandy if I think you've got a very basic and straightforward setup, but I think people who are purchasing this product uh, do not have a simple, straightforward setup. And uh, it's, I found it really frustrating um, moving uh, backwards and forwards uh, on these screens, which weren't always very clear as to what they were um, wanting me to do or how to do it or what it meant. And I found after a good, probably one hour of uh, trial and error, I got it to a point where it was okay. And look, that's, that's the deal with Logitech remote controls. They take trial and error, you program it. Um, this, I'm talking about when you used to do it. And by the way, you can still do this online through like your web browser. But the thing is though, uh, it, it's, it's very slow and clunky doing it on your smart device. It's much easier using a web browser, setting up everything you want, using your mouse, pointing, clicking, using a keyboard, a full keyboard, to type things in like naming, um, different settings and so forth. But I diverge. Let's get back on track. All right. So it puts you through a few different things like let's test if we can turn things off. Um, you can set up eight activities. Um, what sort of act input should things be on? Uh, tell me what device um, input is going to work. And um, so then it actually tries, okay, let's see if we can turn on your amp and your DVD player. And there it is, amp is on, and oh, lo and behold, DVD player is on. So that's it, you've created an activity. Now it wants to check to see if we can actually turn things off. So here we go. Off and not so off. All right. You can sort out these um, little hiccups uh, by later going back and either maybe putting the delay in or remapping um, one of the maybe power settings. Some devices actually have discrete power on and power off instead of a power toggle. Um, so it's just, again, trial and error. Here you can see some customization. Uh, Mapper command basically says, okay, what does this button do on what device? Conversely, mapper sequence is, well, a mystery. You tap it and here's what you get. And you go to myharmony.com and guess what? Doesn't really tell you what you can do there either. So several days after receiving this unit, like actually it's a week now, I still haven't got to the bottom of this um, very deep remote control. All right, so before I go, just uh, one little, uh, little tip. The mini infrared blaster scene here, um, the cable length is, I don't know, 50 or 70 centimeters long. So useful if you want to place that maybe up on um, the table or near where your TV is and you've got your other components sitting inside a cabinet. So your uh, Harmony Hub can be inside the cabinet and that mini infrared blaster can be sitting near your TV. Now, not very good in my situation where the TV is actually going to be a good 10 minutes away from where the projector is. 
So what I did is I went out and got a stereo cable. I've got some connectors here to convert from 2.5 to 3.5 and then back from 3.5 to 2.5 millimeters. I did try to purchase a, a 2.5 millimeter extension cable, but no one in Melbourne actually had one. So went and got this instead. All right, so um, here I go, plugging in the 2.5 millimeter converter with a 3.5 millimeter uh, 3.5 millimeter female end. Then just going to plug the two uh, 3.5 millimeter stereo line from the harmony to near where I want it to be. So we go plug it in there. At the other end, um, here's the 3.5 millimeter stereo line. That's a converter from a 3.5 down to 2.5. Plug in the um, adapter to make it a female, and there we go. The Harmony Mini Bread Blast is now connected. To ensure that the uh, Harmony base is not actually sending out an infrared cable, put some tea towels over the unit so as not to emit any infrared signals into the room. As you can see there, now I've got over. Um, 16 meters between the two devices. Alright, it's powering off. Focus. There it is. So there you have it, my Harmony Smart Review. Uh, $469. It's definitely a good remote control, good value. Uh, it's not great, it's got its little hiccups and um, annoying things you need to try and work around, which I think shouldn't have to be there. But at the end of the day, I think I'll grow to love it. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Next week, I'll be bringing you my electrical update. Hope to see you then.